Hi, I'm Claudia, and I am happy to share this wonderful month with you of poems here at First Book. The idea of poetry is such an inspiration, and I'm bringing you the poem of one of my absolutely favorite poets. Her name is Gwendolyn Brooks, and this poem is a tribute to her by a poet named Anthony Walton. So I will start with the beginning. Gwendolyn Brooks, 1917 to 2000. Sometimes I see in my mind's eye a four or five year old boy, coatless and wandering a windblown and vacant lot or street in Chicago on the windblown south side. He disappears, but stays with me, starting and pronouncing me guilty of an indifference more callous than neglect, condescension as self-pity. Then I see him again at 10 or 15, on the corner, say, 47th and Martin Luther King, or in a group of men surrounding a burning barrel off Lawndale everything surrounding vacant or for sale. Sometimes I trace him on the train to Joliet or Menard, such towns quickly becoming native ground to these boys who seem to be nobody's sons, these boys who are so hard to love, so hard to see except as case studies. Poverty, pain, shame, one and a half million dreams deemed fit only for the most internal of exiles. That four-year-old wandering the wind tunnels of Robert Taylor, of Cabrini Green, wind chill of an as yet unplumbed degree, a young boy she did not have to know to love. 